I'm going to do this completely blindfolded. If you were here with me, I would hand you this little notepad and you could draw anything at all that you want on it. But because you're not here and my wife is on the camera, I'm going to have her draw anything at all that she wants. We have not set this up previously. Once you're done drawing, let me know. But remember, this would be in your hands. You're done? Okay. And you would actually be taking this out yourself, not me. And you would be posting this right on top of the blindfold so that I can't see it. Now, all I need to do is, do you have the Sharpie? Cause I can't see, and there we go. Okay, and then all I need to do now is just uh, focus on whatever it is. Let's see, what could you have drawn? And I'm gonna go, I'm getting a little, maybe something, I think so, I think so. Let's, let's close it up. And let's see, was I close? Yes. <laughs> there we go, what was it? Uh, oh, so that is almost like a little basket or a little purse. It's a purse. It's a purse, there we go. So as you can see, you can very easily know exactly what it is somebody's thinking of even while you're blindfolded. And not only that, we're gonna be able to use this gimmick for many more things, so stick around. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Javier Fuenmayer. And what I love the most about this trick is that you can perform it and have a ton of fun, not just yourself, but also your spectators. It's based behind that popular game, Heads Up, that you may be aware of. So not only can your spectators be familiar with the premise, but they can also know how impossible it is to know whatever it is on top of your head. If we're performing like a big show, parlor or stage, we could go with the big post-it notes, or if we're doing walk around, we could just go with the little one. Both will work exactly the same and I'll show you how to handle the gimmick with both. If you're enjoying this content, make sure you go and you check out my other content that you can find on my channel. I post a new creative trick, gimmick, or sleight of hand every week. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell so you get notified whenever I post new videos. Let's get to building this gimmick. You're gonna need two of the same size. Doesn't matter if they're different colors, as long as they are the same size, it's going to work. I'm gonna make the gimmicks with this and we're gonna start off by taking off the little back piece of each. And I'm gonna try to keep them as straight as I can. I'm gonna do that with both. Now, you could do it with these small ones, but you can do the same exact thing with the bigger post-its. Now I'm gonna take both of the little pieces here and make sure that they line up. I'm going to turn them over and put one off to the side. I'm using these magnets here. I'm gonna put the link in the description. I got these off of Tamu, and I'm just going to place four in each corner making sure that they're all facing the same orientation. Next we're going to tape them down so just take a little bit of tape. I have here some thick tape. You could use any tape that you have. I'm just going to tape it down like this until all four magnets are completely covered by the tape. Next I'm going to line these up one on top of each other. It doesn't matter if they don't line up perfect. Now I'm just going to take the magnets and throw them on top and they're going to somewhat perfectly align. We're going to make sure, oi, just like this. Once you have all four magnets on there, then you line up the post-its so that they are perfectly aligned and you can see that now one is on top of the other. And then you'll do the same thing. We'll just tape it up so that each magnet stays exactly where we put it. Feel free to use a smaller tape than this. It is just the one I just got from Amazon. It's pretty nice, it's very strong. Now we have these two bags that perfectly align with each other. This next material we're gonna use, I recommend you go to your dollar store or your cosmetic stores. You're gonna be able to find something similar. I'm gonna put in the description exactly the one that I'm using here, but as you can see, it just looks like a piece of metal, but when you unstick this piece, you can see that it's actually a mirror for your wallet. Now, it's really sturdy, it's not gonna break, so I'm using this in the gimmick. Even if you find those little tiny containers that open up for girls that have blush and they have a mirror, you're gonna be able to use that same thing. Instead of cutting this to this size, you're just going to take that same mirror and place it on this. I took so, the back of the mirror plate and the post-it that I was using and placed it right on top, just like that. I traced it with the Sharpie 
and I cut off that piece. Now, I didn't cut it exactly the size, I wanted it to be slightly smaller, that way it doesn't protrude outside of our little gimmick that we have there. Now all we have to do is put some double-sided stick tape on that, you're just going to take it and place it so that none of it protrudes outside of our gimmick. Ooh, that's because I have two. That's our other piece. So once you have it on one, we're pretty much ready to finish our gimmick. Once you have the mirror stuck on one of them, you want to take the other one and place it directly on top. You'll see that it'll magnetically attach. And this one you also want to add some double-sided stick tape. I'm covering most of it and even going further away as I'm going to cut all the edges. Once you have your double-sided stick tape on this part of the gimmick, you're now gonna be able to just take it and place it on any one of the two things that you took it out of. And the reason we do that double-sided stick tape is so that once these run out, you can very easily transfer that gimmick into your next path, so on and so forth when this one runs over. But now we have our gimmick pretty much ready, and now all we have to do is just learn how to use it. Before moving on to the different handlings on how to use this, I just wanna show you that if you have a bigger pad like this one, you can see that I've done the same exact thing, I've just left the mirror way bigger on this gimmick. But it works exactly the same, it locks in the same exact way, it's just you're now getting a bigger peak. I will mention, we're gonna talk about some different handlings. My favorite handling is gonna be the last one that I'm gonna share with you. To perform with this gimmick, if I'm going with sticking it on the forehead, I like to start by describing or briefly talking about the heads up game and using someone who's familiar with that game in the trick. If your spectators don't know that you're referring to the heads up game where you have the words in front of your head here and you swipe back or down, so then just briefly tell them what it is, show them the game, maybe you guys could even play it after the show. The point is that you don't want to use electronics or anything that could give away the fact that you may know what word it is and that's why you're using the post-it notes. You're gonna have them write it down and then stick it on your forehead. Once you make these and you have them in your hands, you'll see that you're gonna feel very comfortable handing them out to your spectators. They're very sturdy and they're very, uh, like they don't come apart unless you know how to pull them apart. So all you have to do is grip it top and bottom as you see me here, and you don't wanna hand it to them with the opening this way, you want to turn it over so the opening it's towards yourself. You're going to tell them that, and then you're going to hand it to them in this way. You have your spectators draw anything at all that they want, or it could even be a word, a number, a name, anything at all. Once it's ready, you tell them to unstick the little paper. You're gonna have them stick it on your forehead. Now, make sure you either have a blindfold on, I'll get into that later in this video, or make sure you're covering your eyes completely by pushing them shut and they know for a fact you can't see. They'll stick it on your forehead and now once you know that you can't see, then you can remove your eyes and then it's impossible for you to see up there. But then, once you get the little notepad back, you're of course going to dislodge the magnet and I can now clearly see exactly what it is that is on my forehead. This is the blindfold that I technically have here, is the one that I found that has completely blocked out the most light for me to sleep. It's the Manta Sleep. If you guys are interested, I'll put the description down below. What I found is that you could have the little sticky, you could tell them to stick it on that little place. And because it's not fabric, it's more like a little plastic, it actually tends to stay there really, really well. So if I have this on, let me put it on real quick here like this you could tell your spectators to tape it on that little piece right there. So you have the little post-it on that little piece and there's technically a way for us to take a look at that with this little gimmick. We're gonna get into that a little bit later. For now, let's see how we could do it without the blindfold. So if we don't have the blindfold, once again, all you have to do with this little piece is you're going to pretend that you're now going to draw what it is that they drew. You are going to use your fingers here to cover the entire gimmick. If, if you have to, you can cover it with the whole hand. It's completely up to you. I'm using those three fingers and then I'm just sliding over, exposing that gimmick. I'm holding it at the little 
tip there. Right here, I can clearly see the flower on my forehead. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you on the camera. It's not picking it up right now, but I get a perfectly clear view of whatever it is on my forehead. Of course, my eyesight is being directed to me writing here, so it makes perfect sense that I can peek at that whenever I want. Now, because I already know what it is, I can hide that gimmick, completely hide it, and now I can be super free, and I don't have to be holding that little mirror hiding the fact that I'm peeking there. If you're using the normal size pad, you won't be able to hide everything behind your hand, or at least <laughs> not as good. So one way in which you could do it is you start off with the pad on your index finger like this, and just by sliding it forward, you'll have access to that mirror there. Of course, this is all happening like this as you're drawing here. You can use this hand to cover the fact that your mirror is poking up from the side. Of course, once again, once you do get your peak, you can easily slide that back in and you can now be as free as you want. And of course, we're not gonna discriminate with our little tiny one. You could do the same exact thing with this little one. So you just have it like this, you get your peak, and then you close it and you're good to go. Now, this is one of my favorite ways to do this trick. I just basically hand you the little <laughs> post-it and then you would draw your thing. But in that action, I don't give you the full gimmick, I actually just steal part of the gimmick. And this is gonna let us do a couple things a little bit differently because now you don't have to ask for the notepad to get it back, you can just have them stick it on your forehead and now you can get a peek from this. So as you're getting your peek, you can tell them, so remember, you, you drew something and now you're just miming as if you're drawing it. In reality, you're just getting a peek at what it is that you're doing. And you have all the time in the world to angle the mirror so that you can see that. Once you get your peak, you can then get the little paper, oh, <laughs> I've been using that for all the video, but once you have your peak, you can then get them to give you the paper back. Once you do that, you just load this as you put it away and you get rid of absolutely everything. So in this way, you're not doing the peak with the gimmick in your hand, or at least they think nothing's in your hand, and you're still able to get the peak. Let's say that you still wanna use this gimmick, but you don't wanna stick the post-it on your forehead. You could just have your spectators draw whatever it is they want, and place it on the table face down so that you can't see it. Before then, you've already stolen your piece, and you have it secretly palmed in your hand. You're now going to take this and as you put it away, I now have a clear view of what it is that they thought of and then I just put everything in my pocket. In my pocket, what I'm actually doing because that wouldn't lock it, is I'm spinning this around and just closing it like this. That is going to ensure that this actually locks how it should and now I'm ready to do the trick again. Feel free to come up with your own routines and explore with different things like playing cards or different routines in which you're using post-it notes but you're not really sticking them on your forehead. I know that sticking post-it notes on your forehead may not be for everyone, so if you do come up with a different place to do the gimmick or a different way in which you perform this routine, please comment down below and let me know. I would love to know how it is that you're performing this gimmick. If you wanna see more content like this, go check out my YouTube channel. I have a ton of different tricks ranging from visual magic to mentalism for beginners all the way to pros. I wanna thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I post a brand new video every single week, so make sure you're subscribed and you've hit the bell so that you can get notified when I post another video. For now, feel free to go check out my other videos and I'll see you next week on Monday.